South Cambridgeshire are being encouraged to bid for a share of £100,000 to fund environmentally friendly projects. The cash is from the District Council's Zero Carbon Communities Grant Scheme, which has already funded more than 35 grassroots projects to tackle climate change. So let's welcome to tell us more about this Councillor Pippa Halings, who's Chair of the District Council's Climate and Environment Advisory Committee. Hello, Pippa. Hello there, Chris. Lovely to talk to you. So, £100,000. Uh, tell us what we have to do and what do we have to be to qualify for some of this? Yeah, well, really, it's to be part of this huge effort to shift the district to a cleaner and greener future. You know, and since we took control in 2018, being green to our core is front and centre of, of everything we do as a council. And we set ambitious goals with our zero carbon strategy but we can't we can't do it alone and we had local community groups and young people with community eco council groups coming to talk to us at my committee you know the climate change and environment committee to talk about their fears but also their their visions of what they could do you know in their own local community so the zero that that's kind of led us to the idea of creating the zero carbon communities grant scheme and the network that's around that, so that you know, on a really local level, um, people can do what it takes to you know individual actions to combat okay. the, the climate emergency. And where's the money coming from? Well, you know, it's great. It comes from the business rates from renewable energy farms that are within South Cams, and so those business rates. What we do is we ring fence that money that comes into the council, and we're reinvesting that into green initiatives like these. So, as you know, as you said, this is our third round now, and we've increased what's normally the community chest fund to being now between one thousand and fifteen thousand pounds that community groups or parish councils can apply for. Okay, so give us some examples of previous recipients of the grant, because maybe that might. Uh alert people to, to you know, whether they, they qualify or, or not. Cambridge Sustainable Food, they got some money, didn't they? Yes, no, they did. And that's all about sort of sustainable lifestyles around food and, you know, how, how we manage with food and food waste and the sort of the circular economy around food and sustainable food and allotment. So just that, a whole understanding of where food comes from, what the carbon footprint is of the food that we eat and how to, you know, eat um, in terms of, supporting local sources of, of food as well and dealing with food waste, which is a, a huge issue as well in our area. Another great one I could tell you about, Chris, is the Meldreth, Shepherd and Foxton Community Rail Partnership. And they received 6,500, I think, for a cycle rack at, at Meldreth Station. I think it's a double-story one for about 30 bikes, and that's got CCTV cameras and also a cycle repair cafe there. That's at the station, um, isn't it? Yeah. That's at the station itself. It's, you know, it's very much about not only what are you putting in there in terms of that infrastructure or whatever, but it's one of the real evaluation criteria is about how you're raising awareness in the community and, and engaging to get behaviour change towards sort of more low-carbon low lifestyle. So, um, you know, Histon and Impington, the High Trees Action Group, they've um, they received £6,500 to restore woodland that was, you know, sort of destroyed, stripped away by Highways England during the A14 expansion project. Well, they've planted already two-thirds of a 1,000 trees and 750 metres of hedge to sort of replace that, okay. that green gateway as part of a, you know, a community effort there. And also St. Um, Patmos Trust got some money. That was to do with their bikes, wasn't it? Yep, yep, bikes as well. And at the, uh, the Cambridge Cohu Housing Community Orchard Park, they've got an electric cargo trike. And that's being used now for sort of community shopping. It was used during the COVID time to sort of help with the food parcels. And they just used it on a community litter thing. And okay. it's just sort of getting people into changing that idea of, of yeah, cycling. So we've got an idea there of the, the sort of organisations that qualify and the sort of amounts. Now, you've got a webinar... Uh, coming up, um, I, I suppose you, you can't do these things or, or not doing these things yet in person, but I've got a webinar. Tell us about that. Yeah, so just go back and just say the three, kind of what we'd really like this time. We've learned yeah. each time about what, what are the things that communities want to apply for. So the three areas for so this time, the main two will be around community buildings. So it will be around energy conservation and efficiency, renewable energy and community.
community buildings. And the second one will be around tree planting. And we know that Cambridgeshire is one of the poorest areas in the country for tree cover. So the tree planting and um, creation or enhancement of areas for wildlife and natural habitat, which we've seen in COVID is so important. The webinar, which yep. is on the 7th of June, um, will be hearing from successful organisations that have applied and from other grantees about how to do a successful grant application. It's nothing better than hearing from others what they did and how they how they were successful. That's Monday the 7th of June. Right. Uh, people can go to the website to find out more and that website is Pippa? So it's www.southcams.gov.uk zero carbon grant but basically if you just google i've just tried it if you just put in zero carbon grant south cams in google it will come up fantastic thank you for joining us councillor pippa hailings their chair of the district council at south Cambridge district council's climate and environment advisory committee